Oftentimes on the channel, you hear me state that pathological narcissists are people that have accepted an evil spirit. So know that spirit is who we are at our core. And if pathological narcissists accepted an evil spirit, then they are evil at their core. So know that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience and pathological narcissists abandoned their light. And if they abandoned light, then they accepted darkness. All right. Evil, E-V-I-L, is against the living. It is life inverted. And if pathological narcissists abandoned life, then they accepted death. So know that you are dealing with a walking black hole. You are interacting with a walking void. What they are going to do is consume your light. Because at a vibrational level, you are too far apart. Pathological narcissists are rooted in their shame and they cannot move past their pride. Every single day, a pathological narcissist wakes up there in hell. And at best, they get to purgatory. And pride comes before the fall and they fall right back down to shame to go through another shame pride cycle. They cannot make it out of the third dimension into the light. You are dealing with low vibrational beings. So I know that some of you are seers. All right. You may be able to see spirits either physically or in the dream realm. Or you may get flashes of insight. Others of you may be feelers, right? Where oftentimes you will feel a very dark, negative, palpable force that travels with the pathological narcissist. That is the evil spirit that they have accepted. Call it an evil spirit. Call it the Jezebel spirit. Call it a demon. You are dealing with a walking void. What it wants to do is to consume you. So people know that there is no amount of love, kindness, or compassion that you can pour into a narcissist. Their hearts are hardened. They cannot make it to the fourth dimension. Right? Their heart chakras are blocked. So when you take a look at emotions like love and kindness and compassion, people, that is way up there in the 500s. Pathological narcissists are incapable of moving past level 199. So know that you cannot love a demon and a demon cannot love you back. There is no amount of love, kindness, or compassion that you can give to a pathological narcissist. They cannot receive it and they also cannot love you back. They do not know love. Love as a high vibration energy people has never existed for the pathological narcissist. They do not have the operating system. It does not exist. And I know that very well may be a very difficult thing for you to understand because you're a loving person. You're a kind person. You are a compassionate person. You have love to give and you also want to receive love. And this is because you are able to receive love and you're able to give love, right? Your heart is opened, right? So while pathological narcissists are stuck in the third dimension, you don't have to be stuck. You can leave. You have access to the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, and higher. So in your ego death, right, in your dark night of the soul, in your spiritual awakening, people, you activated your third eye. That is the spirit of discernment. Pathological narcissists, again, are stuck in the third dimension. Why? Because they have accepted an evil spirit or spirits, because again, it could be plural. And this is what you may call a legion of entities. And these entities started to attach to them in their childhood years. Somewhere between their terrible twos and approximately 12 years old. And understand that malevolent entities operate like parasites. And what they do is they suck the life out of the narcissist, then the narcissist comes into communion with you, then they start to suck the life out of you. Because you are dealing with a walking black hole, it's a walking void. You are communing with the dead.
This is why oftentimes on the channel, you hear me say that you need to bury the dead. Let go. Pathological narcissists did not agree with you to come into the new revolution. What's the new revolution? The fourth dimension or higher. People, vampires cannot step into the light. Now, they can drag you to hell, yes, but they cannot step into the light. Understand that life is spiritual. We're spiritual beings having a physical experience. So we are spirit, we are source, we are light. We're light beings, prana, chi, governing a physical body, and we have access to tools, namely our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. And while we may be light at our core, pathological narcissists are dark at their core because they abandon spirit for an ego. What is an ego? A false self. This is why we had to have an ego death to spiritually awaken, but pathological narcissists cannot have an ego death because they believe that they are the ego. They believe that they are the mask, you see. And this is why pathological narcissists will have a narcissistic injury when you test them or when you check them. When you see that something isn't adding up with their behavior versus what they say. And people, what is a narcissistic injury? A narcissistic injury is when a pathological narcissist perceives a threat, whether real or imagined, because they could make it up that goes against the ego, that goes against the grandiose false self. So they don't want to take the mask off. What happens is when you injure the narcissist, they actually grip that mask even tighter to their face. And if that mask doesn't work, they put on another one and another one and another one because that is what the mind does. The mind generates thoughts. So the mind generates another mask and another mask and another mask and another mask and another mask. And the pathological narcissist gets deeper and deeper and deeper into their ego, their false self, and their spirit shrivels up. So today they're like 95% ego and 5% spirit. So understand people that when pathological narcissists abandon their light, this allowed space for dark force energy to step in. And this is what you call demonic energy. Now, this is what you hear me refer to on this channel. I'll call them malevolent entities. That is what you're interacting with. A malevolent spirit, an evil spirit. It comes to destroy. It will lie to you. It comes to cause chaos and division. It comes to divide and conquer. You cannot grow with a pathological narcissist. They are regressing. You cannot grow with evil. Evil destroys. So... As you awaken and as you become more aware, learn how to discern spirit because we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. What you care about is what is behind the physical veil. How is that person using their mind? Are they using their mind as a tool for good? Are they using their mind to manipulate others because an evil spirit uses the mind for evil? An evil spirit also uses their emotions for evil. So is that person emotionally manipulating you? Are they playing mind games? Are they toying with your emotions? Discern the spirit. Are you dealing with a genuinely kind person or is it a facade? People discern the spirit because, again, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. All right, good people? That is the quick message for today's video. As always, ensure that you are liking these videos. Ensure that you are subscribed for more empowering content. If you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, go ahead and check the links in the description section or go ahead and check out the narcdojo.com website. That is N-A-R-C-D-O-J-O.com. All right, Sheik is the name. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.